The year is unknown. The world outside is a mess. Chaos and divide spreading like a plague throughout the world as the technology in their hands. Sponsored by a profit model algorithm meant to seek the highest engaging targeted at the emotional reaction of many. Coalescing the world into tiny bubbles of their version of reality. Reverting humanity back to their tribalistic days. Luchasaurus was there, he knows. But to add to the firestorm of BS collecting further trash around the world like it's caught a Mari Damasi, it's also really, really, really hot. But there exists, oh yes, there exists a legendary tool to cool the air around. It was once called an air conditioner, but none exist except for one. And in the Ichigaya Chocolate Square, this AC unit has been the paradise this ragtag collective of wrestlers live in. However, on this particular rough and hot, hot, hot summer, Balianaki, the sick sadist of Ichigaya, decided to up the ante in his match against Masa and Kagura. A no AC match. Who's ready for story time with Makato? Okay. Because Balianaki wants them to suffer. Aki, the Punisher, the Gringer of suffering, the lover of pain. So he does. He tapes up the window so no air can escape. And here comes Masa. Oh, Masa is already drunk, of course. And it's super hot, so the man is dying and feverishly drunk. And here comes Kagura with the cool mask and is for sure sweating under there. And one last thing from Aki. No, you monster. What? What are you doing? What are you doing? He locks the front door. What a fiend. Aki, the absolute creature. You absolute creature. Chie Koshikawa has the unfortunate task of refereeing this match. The controller to the AC unit hanging from the hole ridden ceiling. The winner is the first to turn on the AC and save everyone from a heat stroke or get a pinfall. And they collide! These men! These manly men in sweat and sweat and muscles and sweat! Aki knows how to use the environment and Kagura knows how to lucha. But oh, he's dying from the heat! This can't last much longer and oh! Masa was trying to sneak behind the camera and grab the remote! So Kagura with the Kishikase! But he's no Saki Kashima and can't win! So Kagura and Aki decide to beat up the drunk! But drunk Drunk men have all the tricks and a double noggin knocker. Masa dead, he needs water, and oh, he's drinking all the water, and Kagura stops him, but oh, he can't drink water because of the mask, but he tries to take it off, oh no, don't do that, no, don't take it off, everyone begging him not to, but Kagura's like, please, please, it's so hot, and so Aki tries to steal the victory, but Masa steals, but Kagura steals, but Aki steals, but Masa steals, but Kagura steals, but Aki steals, but Masa steals, but can't anymore. It's so freaking hot. Everyone is dead. <sighs> And she is angry. She's had enough. She's gonna get the remote herself. But oh, the men drag her away. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> now May is tired of everyone's shit. She's angry, god damn it. She's gonna get it herself. But oh no. She can't reach. <laughs> She's too small to reach. She tells her best bro to May lift her so she can grab the remote. And up she goes for the dirty dancing and she reaches but oh no Aki no what are you doing Bali and Aki the great betrayer Aki in full man mode and will fix the AC unit himself and Masa the clever drunk pulls it towards him but Kagura knocks him off the top stool the action going quick now Aki on fire and Kagura comes back with a death valley driver Kagura takes out Masa and now tying Masa up in a ball Milano style he's gonna use him as a stool to get the remote but oh no, he's too hot and dies. He's dead. He's dead. With Aki dead and Masa tied up. So Chie screams. Chie Koshikawa with her lion spirit crawls to the ball of Masa and climbs on him and grabs the remote. Chie with the remote 
and the AC unit turns on for the win. Chie Koshikawa wins the no AC match and has saved all of Choker Pro from a heat stroke. Chie Koshikawa has saved her friends from Bali and Aki's torture. Good job, Chie. And this was a story of how one man's silly ambition to torture his male buddies and these men bumbling around only for Chie Koshikawa to emerge as the true hero the world of wrestling truly needs. Choker Pro Wrestling, folks.